Hey everyone, Kevin here, and as you can see, I've got a package here. It was sent from Hong Kong, and I believe this is a package from Gearbest. And look at this. Now, I'm sure you're all aware of who Gearbest are. Large company based in China. They sell a lot of electronic goods, and you will see them, whether you buy from them direct or not, you will see lots of their products being sold, because they'll be sold on Amazon by resellers and things like that. They've kindly sent me over a lot of controllers to check out. So I'm gonna just show you what they've sent. So this one, the box is all bashed. And it's the Gen Game Bluetooth Gamepad, support for pad, phone, smart box, smart TV. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna do reviews of all of these. I just want to give you a quick look. Um then we've got the Nest 30 Pro Game Controller. This is something I'm really looking forward to review for you guys. Um, as you know, I reviewed the little mini one, which I had in the pocket until five minutes ago, so I can't show you. But it's, uh, you know, they do a range of different controllers that mimic the Nest or the SNES. And this one is very popular, and they've kindly sent me over this to review. I'm looking forward to trying this out. Next, we have the iPega. Now, the IPEGA is actually, you know, this is, I've seen some reviews of this and it's quite well respected. Um, it's got a touchpad in the middle. It kind of looks like an Xbox controller, if you can see it. Supports iOS, Android, Windows, Mac, I believe. Uh, dual motor vibration function. So it vibrates, it's got a touchpad just like the PlayStation does. And it's got that all important little holder there for your mobile phone. So that looks like a really good controller. I can see myself using this one. This one looks pretty good as well. It's also Bluetooth, the one from Gen Game. This one is perfect for my Retro Pi setup, but we've got something else here, and it does look like the Peace de Resistance. Look at this, the PXN Arcade Fight Stick. This looks pretty awesome as well. You can see there, it looks like it's kind of set up with, um, well, it's kind of got like, I don't know if you can see that there, it's kind of got like, the references for the PlayStation controller and Xbox and SNES and things, because it's got there like, um, there it's got triangle Y, then it's got circle B and things like that. So it, it does look like it's it's color coded as if it's the PlayStation, but it's got turbo buttons, macro buttons, home button shape. This looks excellent. And you can see here, PC, PS3, PS4, X1. I believe this one is a wired controller. I don't believe it's Bluetooth. That's not a problem. It does look very good, and, you know, I've got a couple of fighting games downstairs. I've got Mortal Kombat. I don't think I've got Street Fighter. No, I don't have Street Fighter yet for my PlayStation 4. I've got Mortal Kombat. Uh, I've got a couple of other fighting games, and this will be a lot of fun on that. So I'm going to review that for you guys as well. So very, uh, a big thanks to Gearbest. I really do appreciate it. You guys know I've got a small channel, and when you've got a small channel, it's hard to get things going because you have to spend a lot of money, and... You need to buy everything yourself. And there's been times I've bought things simply for review and I didn't need them. So I really do appreciate companies like Gearbest for making this donation and helping me review these controllers for you guys. So thanks to them, I do appreciate it. And what I'll be doing over the next week or two is showing you these controllers. I'll be doing unboxings, but I'd also like to show you me playing them. I'm going to play with them a little bit and give you my thoughts on how they feel. And I'll give you details, all the prices and all that. So to recap, we've got the PXN Arcade Fight Stick, PC, PS3, PS4, X1. I've got the iPega wireless controller with touchpad. It also vibrates. I've got the one with the kind of bash box a little bit. In fact, if it's bashed, I'll give you a quick preview. So this is this one here, the Gen Game. I believe this is the cheapest one. It's kind of like a PlayStation. Yeah, it's kind of like a PlayStation controller. Um, oh, it starts to get power. Feels quite clicky. So I'll be reviewing that as well, and hopefully I can turn that off so I'll, I'll drain the batteries. Um, that actually feels not too bad for a cheap controller. It feels quite good. So I'll check that out next week in more detail as well. And charger there. And then we've got the Nest Pro. And this is another controller that I'm really excited about trying. Works with your phone, works with iOS. It works with Windows, and it's going to work with my RetroPie setup as well. And, you know, growing up with the NES, 
I love the layout of the Nest, but you can see that it's basically got like you know Nest buttons. It's got L and R, A, B, Y, X, and they've just used it with the Nest styling. Thanks for watching, guys. I will do um, I'll do some reviews of this these controllers over the next week. So I've got four different reviews coming. Um, and thanks again to Gearbest. I do appreciate it. Hopefully, um, if they enjoy these videos, I'll get some more things to review for you guys because. You know, smaller channels, it is tough. In fact, this one, in fact, I'll give you another preview because this one seems to be open. That's the fight stick controller. I'm going to keep it wrapped up just now until the unboxing, but that's what I'll be showing you. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment below if you've got any questions regarding to these controllers because what I can do is then, but when I do the test, I can test them out for you if there's anything specific you want me to check. Until next time, guys, take care.